सॉरी आई सेइंग इज देर एनी टाइम लाइन एग्जिस्ट लाइक सत्युग कलयुग प्लीज इट्स नॉट कॉल्ड टाइम लाइन इट इज कॉल्ड सर्कल ऑफ टाइम टाइम इज नॉट ए लाइन इट इज अ सर्कल सो यस इट गोज इन सर्कल बिकॉज इट इज अ वाइब्रेशन वाइब्रेशन गोज इन सर्कल सो द टाइम इज डिराइव आउट ऑफ चेंज चेंजिंग एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड बिकॉज द एक्सपीरियंसेज आर बेस्ड ऑन वाइब्रेशन दे चेंज इन सर्कुलर वे वी कॉल इट अ प्रोसेस प्रोसेस गोज इन सर्कुलर वे सो यस समटाइम देर इज गुड टाइम समटाइम्स देर इज बैड टाइम एंड दे ऑसिलेट डोंट कॉल इट लाइन कॉल इट सर्कल टाइम सो रेस सिंह हाउ टू गेट आउट द सर्कुलर टाइम यू आर टाइमलेस ऑलरेडी नो योर ट्रू नेचर यू आर टाइमलेस देर इज नो नीड टू गेट आउट ऑफ इट सो रेस सिंह इज देर एनी पॉसिबिलिटी टू बी इन फ्री ऑलवेज डोंट बी इन टाइम यस एक्चुअली इट इज इम्पॉसिबल टू बी इन टाइम बिकॉज टाइम इज एन इल्यूजन यू आर टाइमलेस दैट इज द ओनली पॉसिबिलिटी वाई डोंट यू नो दिस यू डोंट हैव द नॉलेज ऑब्वियसली सो रेस सिंह वट इज डायमेंशन लाइक थर्ड 3D, 5D, or upper being that exists or not? Is there a sentient like thing exists? Is there any collective consciousness type? Everything is possible in the illusion. Everything is possible. What do you want to exist? It will exist. Liz is asking last times. Sir said that the occult people prefer middle age, yug instead of satyug or kaliyug. So are they quite responsible for the general? the world play, play drama in the screen like for now we have global pandemic no they are not responsible for global pandemic they are responsible for the progress of science and technology and occult these people they prefer to conquer nature they prefer to control the devi like we say or to they are on the side of nature so uh, in satyug there will be an abundance of people who want liberation from the illusion of the world and the bodies and that is the right time for them to incarnate because of the positive environment the spiritual environment they find there and you will notice that in satyug no construction work is done no alteration is done to the nature no build, big buildings are made no technology is developed how do we know this you can check the remains archaeology nothing is found from this so called age of truth because there the intelligence is so much that they don't feel a need to manipulate anything any intelligent person will see that mother nature has done perfect arrangements for survival already it is the need and the greed and whatever stupidity of humans that has caused uh, imbalance usually pandemics also in in that age people do not change much people do not change the world that much no artificial things are done they come here for knowledge they take the knowledge and they go away the okal kind of people who like to overpower nature and so on who like powers for them this is not the right time even though they, some may be present there because their gurus are there or to get more knowledge or something but they do not act against the normal thing and in kaliyug that is the age of darkness only ignorant people take birth and a lot of teachers also come here and they also have no interest in changing anything ignorant people cannot change too much they cannot uh, progress in the field of occult a lot and whatever they ch- changes they do whatever progress they have will be very gross like very physical physical technology like burning coal and burning oil is a very gross kind of technology electricity is a little bit better and they are always found engaged in wars and crimes in kaliyug they never end the conflicts never end here because of the lowliness of the incarnated people so occult people they don't prefer this kind of time obviously because not the right time but when they start coming the age changes and in the dwapar and treta you will find one is of the rising technology and occult and the other is a falling technology in occult which one is which i don't remember now but the one preceding the kalyug will be a falling technology so you will find the evidence of it in that around 12 to 15000 years ago uh, the human race was reduced to almost nothing and they became 
like uh, cavemen again the biggest civilizations got extinct extinct and whomever remain were the forest people simple simpler people and we are the offspring of these people there were many races of men before and now five or six are remaining it is amazing that the humans are the most successful animals on the planet but we don't find many species of humans there is only one plus there are races in them little differences that's all why is there only one species of humans well monkeys have five or six hundred species any single bird will have you know hundreds of species fish also but uh, humans don't so they became extinct in the last stage that was the age of falling technology now they will diversify again they will diversify again in the coming ages and this these powerful people will incarnate in their race of choice and they will take the progress beyond the physical beyond the gross that kind of technology appears like magic to us like living for a thousand years without any health issues like flying without any visible uh, machinery and so on you see the gods and the men they live together in the, these the rising age of technology but then you know that causes a sort of increase of intelligence in the population and then so slowly they gravitate towards spirituality and they become spiritual then the satyu arrives again this is the mechanism so there is only one kind of fellow who likes to incarnate in all possible yugas and uh, that is the guru especially in the dark ages they come here to train themselves so there is no vacation for the gurus the guru field is always active in all the ages yes these other people they prefer some and they don't prefer others so it may look like that this is a big story <laughs> yes it is a story i cannot produce a lot of evidence um, but uh, you can find some very logical um, pointers in this direction the time is cyclic that must be obvious the history repeats that is obvious because, because we see it in the small scale there are small scale repeti- repetitions like the a civilization grows up become so technologically you know from total ignorance and poverty they grow up and become very rich and powerful and technically very very capable and then don't know what happens they fall down again so this is the cycle which is a smaller cycle that happens in the bigger cycle so in this country india is a good example of it richest and the highest in the technology fell down now recovering again so those who are the richest countries now their time is coming for falling they will recover again so this is how it is the effect of the vibration things that go up they always go down there is no exception what should be the choice of a seeker especially on the path of knowledge i think you let go of this attachment or aversion to the yugas and incarnate whenever your guru is present in the world which will be most of the time find a better opportunity fulfill your desires and finish the human life time as quickly as possible so what is the best time for us for the seekers any any time that causes your progress that keeps you near your guru that is the best time if your guru is not around still you can explore you can come here explore there is no harm but the guru is around then there will be progress there are, there are less chances of falling back in the illusion so that's why you know i used to have that kind of preferences before but now they are all dropped now i see the kalyug is simply as an adventure where the, the challenge is a little bit more and you learn faster here because of this challenge so if a ignorant person person is incarnating here it is because of their ignorance you know they don't have any choice they're com- they're compelled compulsively they come here but if a seeker is incarnating here there must be a good reason in this time if a seeker is present in the world 
there is a good reason his guru is present first and he or she wants to learn faster grow faster because of the adversity you will grow faster because of the difficulties you face the bad things happen to you all the time <laughs> and speeds up the uh, growth that is possible only when your guru is present and when you have the knowledge if you don't have the knowledge and if you don't have the guidance then these difficulties will actually cause the reversion re reverse the progress will reverse because you must have seen that the difficulties pull uh, an average person an ordinary person into animal animalistic tendencies they do not take it as challenge they take it as risk and uh, the animal instincts then operate in that person so it is very necessary that you have grown to a place a stage in your spiritual progress you have evolved so much that you don't reverse your progress and then the these times are okay for you and if the guru is there then it is okay anyway the guru will take care of you okay hopefully that answers this very tricky question you know without evidences i need to answer sometimes lis is asking what does sir mean by guru is it nirman ka guru the guru takes form in human form nowadays there are so many gurus yes if you are not advanced to a level where you can communicate with the guru without a body then the only solution is to find a guru in the body for the less advanced seekers there is no shame in that because you need to go through it if you do not form a very close relation with your guru then the guru will not appear in the non physical form it is not that the guru does not want to appear it is that you don't have that kind of tendencies or the sanskar you have not grown enough in that relation to maintain that contact so for most of us embodied gurus are the best they are the most difficult also it's not easy to trust especially in this time but you need you need when without the guru there is no progress and it is good that there are so many <laughs> you have a choice now so the first thing a seeker should do is find a guru any guru is okay you know initially any guru is okay then you can explore your guru will be the one with whom you fall in love instantly if there are doubts if there are complaints and if you do not understand what they are saying then surely he is not the guru he is not your guru so do not waste time there find yours the best way to find a guru is to pray seek act struggle it is not that because of this actions or struggle you will find the guru you will become ready for the guru then the guru will find you this is very standard formula in spirituality everybody knows this i think by now ruchi guys saying what goes up must come down will surely fall one day so what is there for me to learn to come as close as possible to neutrality non duality like both the side of the madhya mark no <laughs> the the falling and rising is perfectly okay this is how it should be to say that there is nothing to learn because you know everything falls nothing st stays that is ignorance there is no need to come to neutrality the violence the storm and uh, the difficulties and extreme suffering all okay it's all okay there is there is always non duality never forget this this drama is the drama of duality rising and falling is happening in the background of non duality where where will you go tell me is there a non duality somewhere which has no dynamics of any kind which does not move from from one extreme to that another is there any any thing like this any existence like this any world like this in duality there will be always this scene the rise and fall will always be there thing to learn for you is to accept be in acceptance be in surrender your ruchika it looks like still trying to avoid something what are you trying to avoid there is nothing here which can be avoided everything needs to be accepted learn to surrender once you get the knowledge there is nothing to do see you are attaching and the aversion is present when you are you are, you are ignorant and you have the attachments and aversions even after the knowledge then what is the difference 
what progress have you made nothing the knowledge was heard but but was not taken was was not understood in the madhya marga is not like this a, it has a total totally different meaning he said do not take extreme path <laughs> he never said the extreme will not happen in your life i don't think he said like this he said do not take extreme measures to reach the truth that is the madhya marga hopefully my understanding is correct yes do not reverse the progress you see there is nothing wrong in kali yuga it's all okay but the problem is there is a risk of falling and if you are aware enough that whenever you are falling you recognize that i am falling and then catch yourself do not fall even if you are not progressing it is okay because you are getting an experience like anything new and dangerous initially we are afraid of it initially we are uncomfortable about it so the kaliyuga is going to remain forever isn't it i mean it is going to repeat forever there will it will come back again and again so you need to get accustomed to it like initially a child is afraid of fire sometimes gets burnt and then he is more afraid but slowly he gets accustomed to the fire he starts knowing how to handle it how not to get burnt what is hot what is cold he starts remembering it so the more incarnations you take in kalyug the more accustomed or you'll become like an expert in handling this age of darkness you see your guru has already done that that is why he is repeatedly coming here and then you will not waste all these valuable years where the age is darker but there won't be any need to waste that time in hibernation you can use that time also for progress there is a deeper <laughs> angle in here which i should not mention that that is that will also never end your incarnating in the dark ages and this light ages it will never end you will end yes the individual will end but there is greater family new individuals are bubbling up in the greater family you know new births are happening there in the layer of the greater family and they keep coming back and then their loved ones who have already progressed they take a form and they incarnate to help them especially the seekers why you will ask you know why there is nothing else to do as far as i know there is nothing else to do this is what we do <laughs> this is how we are 